The next panel is going to be moderated and introduced by Matt Barr from Breezeway. Hey. Thank you, Simon. Super, uh, super happy to be here. Good morning. Happy Friday. Hopefully everyone's feeling okay. Uh, it was an amazing gala last night. But uh, excited to dig into technology, into innovation, uh, in tourism. Uh, and I'm especially excited to be joined uh, by Katerina with Sis Sispe and Javier with Holidoo. Good morning, guys. Thanks for coming after the party, yeah? That's brilliant, thank you. Yeah, so it'll, it'll be a little bit of a unique uh, panel. You know, each of us have a pretty diverse background in terms of, uh, you know, what each of our companies are focused on um, in the industry. So maybe we don't go as deep as we would like, uh, but obviously happy to take questions at the end, happy to stay after uh, and meet me one-on-one. Um, but as Simon said, my name is Matt Barr. I'm the VP of Sales and Client Success uh, at Breezeway. For those of you uh, unfamiliar with Breezeway, we're a property operations and guest experience platform. Uh, and we're focused on what we think is the hardest part of your business, uh, which is making sure every single property looks exactly as advertised day in and day out, every single time uh, when your guests arrive. So things like housekeeping, inspections, maintenance, linens, inventory, combining all of that uh, in one platform. Um, but I'll pass it off to you too. Katrina, you want to just quickly introduce yourself, introduce Sispe, um, and talk about some of the value propositions that, that you guys offer. Okay, so today I'm sales director at Sispe. Uh, Cispe is a payment solution dedicated mainly to the hospitality and the vacation rental system. Uh, I'm saying this because usually when I join the event, you know, uh, people usually speak about e-commerce, about hospitality. Uh, I must say that vacation rental is a very particular sector in this industry and uh, we need to uh, dedicate uh, some particular features because the features that you have in, the, in a payment platform for the vacation rental, it's about the organization, it's about the operation and the uh, relationship with the owner. So what we do basically is to increase uh, the guest experience and the seamless uh, way of payments for the vacation rental industry. Awesome. Javier, a little introduction to, to Holidoo. Yes, of course. Uh, well, my name is Javier. I'm originally from Mexico. Um, however, I've already been over seven years based in Germany, um, where Holidoo is also based. Uh, about Holidoo, we are a Munich-based uh, OTA, uh, a portal for vacation rentals, mainly or mostly. Um, we've been in the market for over nine years now, and uh, we are focusing all across and over Europe. And the idea is to bring you another channel, sales channel, and another opportunity for um, publishing, distributing your listings, and, and reaching out to more specific markets as, as a German and as a Northern European. Happy to be here. Amazing, amazing. Awesome. Well, today is all about innovation, so of course we're going to look ahead to the future. Um, but before we do, let's talk about today. We'd love to hear from, from each of you, what are the biggest challenges you're seeing? When you're talking to a client or you're talking to a prospect, what's the biggest challenges uh, that you're seeing them face today? And then how do you go about trying to solve those, those challenges? So, Katarina, yeah, yeah, why don't you kick us off? That's very important to keep the order. <laughs> Um, well, we, we face, I think that the, the property manager uh, faced several changes. I would mention the most relevant for them. Uh, the first biggest change they had to face is the PSD2 regulation and the strong customer authentication. Uh, meaning that obviously now the way you manage payments has completely changed compared to the past. We have always less uh, card presence and also 
consider that in uh, 2025 there will be an estimation of 80% overall uh, of online payments that will be processed. So let's say that the world will be mainly online processing. Um, that, will be a ma that was a massive change and we saw it, uh, especially in Avancio, that with Avancio Pay provided a, a secure system to manage payments, uh, a system that is going to be uh, driven by the full automation, full optimization. You can uh, set up your cancellation policy and the system is working automatically to manage payments, deposits. Uh, you can release the security deposit. We have a very particular system that is going to retain the pre-authorization for 30 days. We are the only one in Europe to do that. So. Basically, um, let's say that the full automation is one of the massive changes that uh, the, the world face. Uh, plus, there is a big attention to two main topics. Uh, the first one is the alternative payment methods. Uh, we don't need to forget that obviously it's very important to offer to the guests uh, the, the maximum in terms of experience. So we have, of course, Visa, we have Mastercard, we have Amex, but we have to cover also the, the alternative payment methods that are massive today, like Google Pay, Apple Pay, WeChat Pay, Alipay, so forth, Ideal. Uh, when it comes up to vacation rental, we need to give to the guests the maximum in terms of opportunities. And one of the massive changes that we will face also will be the payment in cryptocurrency. So the world is almost ready for that. We are almost ready too. Uh, so the, the idea is to, to face a world where in terms of payments, you will get all the options available for your customers overall because every destination and every guest has a particular payment method. Uh, and also, two main changes in terms of, uh, uh, let's say, uh, payments. The first one is the attention to the payout. It's very important for the vacation rental sector to pay the owners. Because it's not only about payments for guests, but it's also about payments to owners. And the last one that we will, I will speak later because I want to leave the time to Javier, uh, artificial intelligence also will play a main role in this sector to identify profile, but also to enhance security in payments. Fantastic. Yeah, I love the point about, you know, the two clients. I think you come to a conference and you hear guest, guest, guest. Um, people forget about the owner side of things. Uh, just as important of a client. Uh, and I was wondering how long it was going to take before we got to hear uh, crypto or, or AI. So thanks for bringing it up very, uh, very quickly here. Uh, but same question to you, Javier. Biggest challenges that you see uh, property managers facing when it comes to booking and, and how is tech playing uh, a big role in solving those? Yeah, um, I think I can only agree with Katarina. And we, we can see that online bookings and online payments is not the future. It's today, that's why we're here, yeah. that's why we're all working with Avancio, and uh, this will bring, or has already brought many benefits, but it will also bring challenges. Um, we, we've seen uh, more and more increase of uh, uh, fraudulent cases, we've seen also the increase of uh, duplicate distribution and so on, and on the Hollywood side, we, we are tackling this directly, we want to work hand in hand with, with our uh, partners, which is you, the, the Avancio clients, uh, to give you a safe and, a, and an efficient and a, a profitable uh, source of, of revenue, right? Um, I think a, a big challenge for, for you guys uh, as property managers is to make the most out of your product as a supplier and uh, to optimize it and distribute it accordingly so you get more, more profitability and more revenue uh, on that. And um, the role as, a, as another OTA that, that we are uh, is exactly that, it's helping you to, to give you a, a effortless, uh, seamless uh, 
opportunity to, to, to sell your product, reach other customers, um, to secure revenue, to avoid uh, scams or fraudulent cases, uh, non-payments and so on. You were talking about uh, online payments and, and this is of course a key thing that we need to have that, that us as, as the distribution channel, but you as a supplier are very much focused on. Um, I, I really like the, the topic about uh, crypto and, and these alternative payment methods that is, is coming around our table now. Um, to be fair, we don't, we don't work with crypto at the moment, but I'm sure that it will be something that we'll have to, to look at in the, in the short future. And, um, but with Avantio specifically, we have worked hand in hand very closely to, to enhance the way we, we treat the payment, the, the way we treat money, and the way we make it as easy as possible for you, so that you can do one click, you can put your, your product, your inventory online, and basically don't have to worry anything about uh, money, uh, collecting payment, uh, dealing with, with tricky customers, and so on. So, so that's basically, I think, the, the challenge uh, we see from for the property manager side, but also us as an OTA. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Uh, I'm going to come right back to you. Uh, we heard from Paul yesterday talking about sustainability. I know one of Avantio's values uh, should be, you know, all of our values. Uh, hopefully everyone's using their, their water bottles out there. Um, but I'm curious to hear from you, Javier, uh, in terms of sustainability, how do you see technology playing a role uh, in making sure the industry is sustainable? And then are you guys doing anything specific to kind of reduce your environmental yeah. uh, impact and, and that of your guests? Yeah, definitely. Definitely technology is a, is a pivotal uh, tool to, to improve the way we do things and to reach a more sustainable uh, processes and way of, of working. Um, on our side, we, we work based on data. We really try to, to go deep into data analytics to provide a more um, sustainable uh, option towards our customers. Um, what I mean by that, we, we released, I think already over a year and a half ago, um, the, the distinction, the batch for, for eco properties, for sustainable properties. We got together with Avanti to say, hey, we want to offer this to your clients. How can we make it uh, possible? Their technology plays, plays a key role. Uh, we don't want to call each of our clients and, and one by one and say, okay, what, what are you doing there? Like, let me write down if you are actually saving water or um, reusing disposables and so on. Um, we, we've done this through, through Avantio, through, through the technology of Avantio. And um, we have helped uh, those who, have, uh, who are doing active efforts in uh, promoting or, or providing, sorry, um, more sustainable um, options to, to give them a push and to give them more visibility in, in our sales channel. That's on one side, so we want to give you the opportunity to, to have a competitive advantage by focusing on sustainability. Um, but also on our side, um, I think we, um, sustainability is also one of our key pillars as a company. Um, being a, a German company, it's also really much on top of our minds that we need to take care of the environment. And we are doing a lot of things to, to measure our carbon print, uh, to do offsetting. Um, there, is, there is a lot of initiatives internally in the company, but also externally. We uh, partnered with, a, with an organization in uh, Southeast Asia and, and South America to, to basically reach our goal of planting 3 million trees by 2025 um, and, base, and doing so, some other sorts of, of uh, initiatives to offset our, our footprint, right? Um, but one last thing we also do, um, we are conscious that for us, that for example, we are Germany-based, being here today in Valencia, it also has an um, uh, ecological impact. Uh, business trips uh, using planes and moving around do have a, also an impact. So we, we are trying to, to tackle that the best way. We want to be close to you. We want to wanna be everywhere, but we also have to be conscious of, of how we move, where we move, and how we make it the most efficient for, for us and for the environment. That's incredible. Long list. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. So I have a question for you, Aya. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, how Matt? How are you seeing managers utilize tech to make field staff more efficient today? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I think tech and field staff is always kind of a, a tricky question. I think 
you know, the biggest objection we hear is, you know, my cleaners, my maiden staff are, are not the most tech savvy, um, but we're starting to get there. And I think we're starting to see them adopt it. Um, and technology is made to, to make their lives easier, uh, not harder. Um, so a couple ways that we go about it. Um, well, first off, you know, I've spoken to quite a few of you this week and I've seen the, the long WhatsApp messages of, you know, hey, I've started this clean or there's an issue at this property or hey, this property is ready. Um, it, it hurts a little bit to see, but I totally get it. Um, I think the two ways that we help is number one, automation. Right? So we typically coach our clients uh, to, to lay out the entire guest journey, everything that happens from when a guest checks out to the next guest checks in and then checks out again. Um, and if you lay that out, you're going to start to see, so like seriously lay it out on a whiteboard, you're going to see all these different triggers that happen over and over and over again. So when a reservation is scheduled, a clean, it, a clean gets scheduled, right? We're manually doing that. When the clean is finished, we gotta let the inspector know that the property is ready to be inspected. We're manually sending that out. There's a lot of opportunity to, to lay out that client journey, add automation, uh, and increase efficiency. You know, we're all operating in a pretty low margin business. Uh, every percentage point of efficiency can go a long, long way. And then I think the, the second way that we uh, kind of empower field staff is around quality assurance. So. Uh, you know, we do an annual survey every single year, uh, and the number one thing that we heard from guests when booking a property was uh, they cared about cleanliness. 70% of guests, the number one thing that we're looking at was uh, what is the cleanliness rating of a property. So quality assurance is absolutely critical, and how you go about empowering your, empowering your staff to deliver on your brand standard uh, is really, really tricky. When you have properties all over the place, you have some in-house staff, some contractors, some uh, service providers. Um, if anyone's staying in a, you know, a major chain hotel this week, you can look up their, you know, look up Marriott's cleaning standards. You'll see hundreds of pages of exactly where to put the remote, how to wipe off the TV. Um, and those types of standards, those checklists, uh, need to be implemented in the vacation rental industry because guest expectations just continue to rise. I'm sure we've all seen it. Every year, guests expect a little bit more, a little bit more challenging to deal with. Um, so we offer digital checklists customized to the property to make sure that the property looks exactly as advertised uh, every single time. So, um, but Javier, back to you. Uh, biggest trend that you're seeing right now uh, when it comes to, to booking behavior, uh, and then again, back to how you're thinking about it, handling uh, that trend with technology. Um, I mean, we, of course, we all talk about AI and, and the implementation of, of new technologies into our businesses. Uh, but I, I would step back and, and put it together as, as personalization. I think uh, customization is the key for, for being different, uh, for uh, standing uh, aside from, from the rest. Um, and I think in this way, in this sense, uh, AI um, can, and, and not only AI, but uh, virtual reality, augmented reality, can, can really give you a, a distinction as, as a property manager and, and offer these new things that, that um, our guests are looking after, which is personalization, uh, customized experiences, uh, tailored um, searches, and so on. Um, we, on our side, for example, if, if I can share something we started uh, doing just a few months ago, uh, less than a few months ago, um, we implemented AI in, in our search bar, and uh, we started testing, and we want to see what was the difference if someone would say, um, imagine you want to book a house in Mallorca, uh, normally you would type Mallorca, you would type the dates, and you would go into the results page. We started creating a space where someone could say, hey, I'm looking for a, a villa in Mallorca with a swimming pool not so far from the city center for, for eight to nine people, which I still don't know if my uncle is coming um, around the days before Christmas, um, but um, not, not, on the, not, not checking out on the weekend. Search, boom. And through AI, uh, we, are, we are taking uh, aside these, these queries, these key points, and tailoring the, the result that best fits the, the search, right? 
And uh, if you don't have to scroll through thousands, hopefully thousands of results that we have, um, and you already basically have there the villa, all the dates, all, 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 with the amenities that you're looking, that's uh, another experience for the, for the guest, and the, also the chances of conversion are much higher. Um, this is something that we can do as an OTA, but I am very confident that it's something that um, property manager or a vacation rental stakeholder can also take into their own business. So take away customization and implementation of, of technology for the future. What a seamless guest experience. That's like an amazing experience. Just type in exactly what you want. Uh, and have that have that funnel up. Is that live today? That's what that's what your guests are doing. We are even testing it. Um, the thing is, and I'm gonna be fully honest here, I think the technology is not ready yet yeah. for us. In the sense that doing this simple search um, requires a lot of, of data querying because it's going through every aspect that you're asking and then taking a, the best result. So we're testing it. We see that in a small scale it works. So right now, if all of you, I think we are a good sample, going to Hollywood and search for, for, for this, at least 5% of you will get it. Uh, but it's not uh, fully rolled out because a yeah. system would not support uh, millions doing this at the same time. But I think it's a matter of time. And yeah. probably, maybe in one year, when we meet again, uh, event, yeah. it will be. It'll be old news by. And uh, not only Hollywood, but uh, all other uh, providers. Amazing. Uh, looking forward a little bit, Katerina. Uh, what excites you the most about payments? I know it's super exciting. Uh, in the next six to 12 months, uh, what do you think is the, the most exciting thing, um, kind of where you guys live? I, I think that actually property managers are very excited when they receive the payments. Uh, <laughs> let's say that we, we, will, uh, we will see massive changes in terms of, as I already mentioned, all the alternative payment methods dedicated to specific markets, like for example, the WeChat Pay or Alipay. Of course, there will be the cryptocurrency. Uh, Sometimes when we speak about crypto, we say it's something we project in the future. I would like just to remind that uh, I started to work in this sector of the vacation rental very long time ago, so I'm very old compared to you guys, in uh, 2015. And the way uh, the payments were processed was slowly different, you know. I remember people with the machine of the POS doing pre-authorization. Now there is a full automation. And in the same way as the world was going so fast in changing the way to approach payment, we will get the same for crypto. Crypto is a currency that mainly the luxury market is requiring. And there, are, there is a lot of requests for luxury in terms of uh, crypto for vacation rental. But also uh, the splitted payments will be the big challenge because the job of the property manager can be only uh, to, to make a financial reconciliation for themselves. They need to have a system that is working properly, splitting all payments, uh, uh, for the owners, for the OTA, so it will be implemented a fully uh, functional system that will be able to split all the payments. And uh, the, the last part, which is really important and really challenging, is related to the artificial intelligence, as um, uh, was mentioned in Gavier. Uh, because it will play a main role in terms of security and safe transaction. I will explain uh, briefly a bit better. Today, uh, professional fraudsters are there. They know how to behave because it's their job and you are a target for them. Uh, today, the artificial intelligence is used mainly to tackle fraud and monitoring suspicious transactions. So it will identify the profile of the fraudster. It will identify all transactions that are not safe for you. And it will be implemented a system of identity verification. What it means, it's basically the same things that Ryanair is going to do today 
uh, when you book for third parties. So they say, you cannot do a booking for third parties, I will do an identity verification. So you have to just take a picture of yourself, a picture of your ID, and you need to verify yourself. When the artificial intelligence will monitor and tackle this type of, let's say, fraud, sir, and it will be dangerous for the property manager, only in these relevant cases, uh, the system will be able to uh, verify the identity of the guest. And in this way, of course, you are safer in terms of transaction. These are, at the moment, the, the most relevant change. Awesome. Same question to you. I, I know we talked about AI, but, but anything else? Um, yeah, on AI. AI, for sure. Avoid it. Yeah. Um, I think at the industry level, something that I'm really looking forward to is uh, consolidate, consolidation. Right? Um, I think we all here are in the journey towards scaling up. Um, it can be even uh, from increasing your inventory, managing more properties, to acquiring new services. I mean, the, those are not using Sysbay, those are not using uh, Breezeway. It, it's something that can help you become more professional and, and scaling up your business. I think this is an, an un, unavoided, un, um, non-avoidable uh, trend that we are working towards. So I'm looking forward to see more and more partners, property managers, agencies, uh, customers using uh, professional tools, using data to, to make better decisions or to define their strategy and, and basically doing things in a better way and a more efficient way and, and applying economies of scale. Um, from our side, from Hollywood, and not only that part, but also something that we really look forward to to is, of course, implementing new technologies, implementing uh, AI in every single aspect. And uh, I was briefly mentioning before uh, the virtual reality and augmented reality. I think, I hope I'm, I'm right, that this will come. Um, we, to be honest, we don't have anything in place yet, but uh, we're already thinking about it. I, I hope my <laughs> the development team of my company doesn't, doesn't get mad that I say this publicly, but we are thinking of, of how we can implement virtual reality and, and, and augmented reality for a simple search or a simple display of a property. If you can look for a house in Valencia and you can click on a button and, and basically position yourself in, in 3D and walk up inside apartment and see where is the toilet located, where is the, the fridge located, even before you have placed the booking or even before you have checked in, I think that that would be a game changer. It's a matter of time. We are definitely going to get there, and, and we're not going to be the only ones. And so, but if those who prepare ahead of it will have a, another advantage, don't even, I think. Don't even need to go at that point. <laughs> exactly. But um, yeah, and, and it's, it's uh, the result, but also the processes. And uh, uh, actually, I wanted to ask you in terms of processes and, and um, our partners doing the, their operations, the, doing their, the, you know, the way they had the, you were saying, cleanness and everything. Yeah. What, are, what, are we what, I'm, what am I most excited about? Yeah. 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 Uh, well, I, I do think there's a lot of opportunity for AI in, in operations and in, in guest communication, uh, but I'll take a different route because we've talked about it a lot. Um, I think I'm most excited about data. I think, I think the industry is really hungry for deeper data, deeper reporting. Um, and I think today, the data that exists is all on the revenue side. It's all on the booking side, right? What's the ADR? What's occupancy? How is that trending over time? Um, but I don't think managers really have a deep understanding of operational data, right? How much are properties really costing me? What, what properties are the most problematic, have the most issues? Who are my best cleaners? Who are my best maintenance people? You know, getting data like, how long are tasks taking? How much am I paying someone? What is the review associated with a specific cleaning company or a specific contractor? Compiling that data and getting a really good sense and a tight grip on not only the, the front end of your business, the revenue side of things, uh, but on the back of house uh, as well to, to drive efficiency. So I think, uh, I think my answer would be data. And you, you can provide that, I guess. We're getting there, <laughs> we're getting there. Uh, awesome. awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you.